Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday after Ash Wednesday. So let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, we began our Lenten journey yesterday. How many of you already broken your Lenten promises? Because you know how that happens. Life isn't always that easy. So as we begin, let's kind of reflect on the things in life that make Lent. Really, it's really a great time to be in the church. We're sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Prompt our actions by your inspiration, O Lord. Further them with your constant help that all we do may always begin from you and be brought to its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are, are they, they who, who hope in the Lord. Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed, Blessed are, are they, they who, who hope, hope in the Lord. Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed, Blessed are, are they, they who, who hope, hope in the Lord. Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed, Blessed are they who hope, hope in the Lord. Lord. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. You know, we're at the beginnings of Lent. Yesterday was Ash Wednesday. Today, Jesus in the gospel is talking about kind of sacrifice and problems and carrying your cross. So I think, you know, Lent, just to recap, Lent has three pillars, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving or charity. So we all know about prayer, we know we should pray more. We know about fasting, it's kind of giving things up. And almsgiving is kind of giving to the poor, helping others, doing those forgiveness, doing all acts of charity. So as we think about that and reflect upon what maybe what changes we're trying to make to ourselves during our Lenten journey towards Easter, I think, you know, we look at the gospel today and Jesus says, take up your cross. Well, we all have hardships. We all have things we're suffering with. I think when Jesus says, take up your cross and follow him, I think those sufferings that we put on the cross, those shortcomings, all those things that we have, that burdens that we have, Jesus helps us carry those burdens when we put them up on the cross. So as we think about maybe giving things up for Lent, maybe we give up things in one less of a, a way of giving up chocolate or giving up things, maybe we think more about what we're gonna do in a constructive manner, what charity works we're gonna do, what good things we're gonna to do to ourselves, how we're gonna think about making ourselves more spiritual, more aware of things, taking care of ourselves mentally, 
Think about that on our Lenten journey, my brothers and sisters. God bless. For now, let us turn to the Father with our petitions for our church. May it always be a community of love, mercy, forgiveness, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling in life, may they be found by God and assisted by others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those suffering from any sicknesses, whether physical or mental, may Almighty God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of our families, may they be free from anxiety and may they be generous in showing kindness to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Love you, God. May this Lenten journey truly be a time that we grow closer to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we this bread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we this wine to give you food of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of God's holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, the offerings we place upon this altar. Bestow upon us your pardon and forgive us for our sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, each year give us this gift as we await the sacred Paschal Feast with minds and heart renewed. You give us a spirit of loving reverence for you, our Father, and of willing service to our neighbor. And so as we recall the great events that gave us new life in Christ, you bring the image of your Son to perfection within us. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Doris Waterwitz, Ginny Champy, Marianne Ambromitis, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty God, who have made known to your people the ways of eternal life, lead us by that path to you, the unfading light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Same to you.